Good morning everyone and you're welcome to the Animal Health Session. My name is William Minchin and I'm Ruminant Business Unit Director with MSD Animal Health here in Ireland. And today we're going to talk about a patient story and how data and technology can play a, re play a really important role in uh, health, sustainability and welfare of animals in Irish production systems. So we're on the farm of Eamon Sheen, uh, it's uh, Bawn Lusk Dairies in Cuffs Grange, County Kilkenny. And we're focusing on a patient called Bawn Lusk Lucy, and she's cow number 1952. And we're going to look at some of the data in the room today. My name is Eamon Sheen, we're dairy farming here in Bawn Lusk, Cuffs Grange, County Kilkenny. We're milking 200 pedigree Frisian cows on a grass-based uh, spring calving system. We invested in the technology here on our farm to assist us on a labour side and also on a health benefit side. This is our fourth year with the technology on farm and it's uh, been very helpful in our productivity side of it uh, through health and also through heat management. What we found with this technology is that uh, from a very early stage that we're getting health notifications which enables us to avoid having to use any form of antibiotics um, our cow here today, 1952, Bonlust Lucy, she calved on the 18th of March this year. On the 4th of April she had a early indication of uh, milk fever which uh, had affected her health status. We were able to intervene at a very early stage with fluids and anti-inflammatories and calcium and that enabled her to get back to health very quickly. The return on investment for us having the monitoring technology on our farm is one from a labour point of view. Uh, secondly, on a health status point of view, we've used an awful lot less antibiotics on farm, uh, being able to intervene in cow health from an early stage. Uh, we've also been able to um, keep a closed herd on a health status. We haven't had to buy in any bulls. So also from a health status, also health and safety status on our farm, not having stock bulls around has been a big help. We're a family farm here and being able to bring our children out when we are going for the cows and having them involved is a big, is a big uh, benefit also. The impacts uh, from the technology from a herd, a herd health status has been huge and it was seen in Bonlusk Lucy this year in 1952. She calved on the 18th of March 2022. She had a, a milk fever, low grade milk fever notification on the 4th of April, which uh, being detected that early allowed us to solve the problem with fluids, calcium and anti-inflammatories. Not only did this enable Lucy to uh, stay produ productive throughout the season, it also allowed her to uh, gain six weeks of fertility, going back in calf on the 15th of May and she will calve on the 12th of February 2023. So she's also gained six weeks in her productivity for the coming year. Bonlust Lucy is a, currently a fifth lactation cow on the farm here, going into her sixth. And um, she also has two daughters in the herd already. Her mother is still milking in the herd as well. So she's from a very good, productive, fertile family. So John, you have the sense of monitoring technology collar in your hand. Will you explain to the audience at the conference how it works? No problem. Yeah, as you mentioned, I have the sense of monitoring collar in my hand. We also offer an ear tag option. But basically, that's measuring 10 different behaviours on the animal. The three main parameters that it measures is rumination, eating and the activity. And that's sending information back to a controller in the farmyard. And just for visualisation, that controller is about the size of a PlayStation. And it's up on top of the shed in back in the yard, connected to the Wi-Fi and sending information for the cloud. Once the Sensub technology measures those behaviours, it's plugged into an algorithm and that's what detects a heat event or a health event or a distress alert and it sends a notification back to the farmer. So John, you're in charge of obviously your market access and marketing manager with MSD Animal Health and you're actually taking up a new role so congratulations on that in your global role but that's going to put you really at the cutting edge of what's coming in the future. Can you talk about what you know our, our plans or medium, short to medium term plans are with technology? Yeah, no look it's a, it's a really exciting time for the company to be involved in technology. You mentioned in your introduction that traditionally we are a biopharma company focused on vaccines and preventative healthcare. Now with monitoring technology, we're getting in even earlier before any clinical signs are observed. 
So with the monitoring technology on the cow, the farmer is now getting a notification, some, in some cases a day and a half before any clinical signs of ill health are shown by the cow, which is absolutely fantastic from a preventative health approach. In terms of technology that's coming down the line, with our re recent acquisitions, we do have milking technology that we're now going to go and launch to the Irish market, such as our somatic cell count sensors. This will maximise or optimise the, the quality of milk that's produced on farm. Um, again, somatic cell count is a sign of an infection in the cow. So if we can get in earlier, we can treat those animals, reduce the reliance on antibiotics, which is, which is huge for food production. And you're also involved in a lot of research projects. Uh, there's one specifically around greenhouse gas emissions. We know environmental sustainability is really important. How can that research uh, affect environmental sustainability in Irish dairy farms? So a lot of people in the audience will be familiar with the carbon footprint of food production and the focus that it gets in Ireland. We have a grass-based system, so a lot of methane is produced when, when a cow consumes grass. With that, we're working with the likes of Chagas and UCD. We have collars on cows where their methane output is being measured by what they call a green feed machine. So it's out in the paddock with the cow while they're grazing grass. They're enticed to come in to the machine with a little bit of concentrate, if you like, and that's where the methane is measured. And what we hope to do is we hope to identify the high and low methane emitting cows using our monitoring technology. Are there any biomarkers or any activities that we can link or relate into the, the methane emissions from cows? This would really differentiate our product from competitors, but also really put Irish, our, our company at the forefront of Irish agriculture in terms of finding solutions for the challenges we face. So what's the benefit of identifying high emitting cows? But basically we want to see what cows are more efficient at producing food. We're, we're bringing cows in, bringing them in to be milked, they're producing, they're producing milk from the grass we provide to them. But we want to get those cows that are eating the most efficiently and producing the most milk for the food that they consume. Um, with that, if you identify the high and low methane emitters, we'll hear from Eamon Sheehan, the dairy farmer here, that he can choose which cows he breeds from and which cow he doesn't breed from and keep those animals for replacements down the line so that they're more efficient in terms of food production. And in terms of uh, benefits for, you know, this is a patient story, so what's the benefit for Lucy specifically? So for Lucy, we, we've kind of gone through what behaviours that the system monitors. I have a Garmin watch on me, so basically like a Fitbit for, for cows. A lot of people in the audience might relate to that, that they might have a Fitbit or a smartwatch to, for their own activity. But this is picking up any, any issue with that cow a day and a half, at the minute a day and a half, but down the line with our other technologies come in and, our, and our, as our algorithms um, enhance and develop, perhaps we're coming in with even more greater predictions. So it's, it's allowing less sick days for the cow and the system, but from an animal welfare perspective, there's, there's no more uh, pain felt by the animal because we're getting in there very quickly. So John, you joined MSD Animal Health from Chagas and uh, you joined as a product manager on the biopharma side of the business. Obviously when we uh, uh, acquired this technology company you moved across to MSD Animal Health Intelligence as market access manager. Why did you take up that role? We're at a very exciting journey with our company. Here in Ireland a lot of people want to work with MSD Animal Health. Farmers want to work with us. People want to work as being an employee with the company. It's a huge, huge, exciting opportunity that we have with monitoring technology. This is solving problems that farmers face at, at farm level. We're working with vets from a data perspective. We're now entering into the space of working with retailers, dairy processors, utilizing the data from this monitor, monitoring technology to showcase the best food production in the world. So John, we were involved in a really exciting market access opportunity with a company called Nestle, a huge food producer at a global level. Um, can you tell us about that project? Yeah, no, it was, a, it was definitely a project that will go down as being a highlight of something that I was involved in with the company. If we look at the sales of SenseHub um, before we acquired the company, they were probably selling about 3,000 collars a year, which is, which is relatively low if we consider that there's 1.6 million dairy cows in Ireland. The first year that we acquired um, Antelique or Allflex, as you mentioned, uh, we sold about 20,000. We're going to go close to selling 50,000 this year. And with the likes of Nestle, we, we approached Nestle around the conversation of sustainability and animal welfare. Um, they saw the value, they supported the adoption of monitoring technology on Irish farms. There's about 5,000 collars put on farm uh, with support from Nestle. Um, they wanted to help the farmers from a labour perspective. It's a very much a sustainability um, focus for them because it's helping sustainable food production from an optimizing performance perspective, but also for the farmer. 
but also the data piece. So we actually developed a, a happy cow index so that they could promote to their customers when they're selling baby infant formula, for example. We sell a lot of infant formula from this country and now when they're selling their infant formula to the likes of uh, the Chinese market, that they can show that the, the milk that is producing that infant formula is coming from happy, healthy cows. Because as we said, this is monitoring the animal's behaviour every minute of the day. And no matter how good a farmer is, they just can't be in the field every minute of the day watching the cows. So it's a very, very exciting journey to be on for the company because that's probably a space that we've never really been in before, that we're now working with the likes of Nestle, showcasing food production using our technology to do so. That's going to be really, really powerful and is differentiating us as a company because nobody else has that ability in the animal health space. She plays the lightning, I'm a hundred miles high. Does she out the thunder like a god inside the sky? She is a dancer, and she dances in my dreams. Reminds me that the world is not as evil as it seems. She is a belter. No happy endings, unless fairy tales come true. But she looks like a princess and there's not much else to do I think I love her She gets underneath my skin But I've been stung a few times so I don't let no one and no even belt her She is a belter